Matter in motion. Remember, boys and girls, matter is anything that takes up space. Let's learn about the different types of motion that matter can do. Motion. Do you have a ball at home? Is it hard to make the ball stand still? Balls move a lot. A ball is in motion when it is moving. This ball is in motion. See, it's going into the hoop. Types of motion. Everything has a position or a location. What is your position right now? You may be sitting at your desk, maybe on a wobbly stool, or out in the collaboration area. If you stand up and walk across the room, you are in motion. Motion is a change of position. So when you sit down again, you are no longer changing your position, so you are no longer in motion. When you're on a swing like this boy, you're going back and forth. That's a type of motion. If you're climbing up a pole like this boy, you're going up or down. Boys and girls, you need to remember these types of motions because you might want to use one of these motions in the game you design for the kids at Connerton. There are many kinds of motion. An object can keep moving in one direction. It can change directions too. It can move fast or slow. Look at the pictures. How are the children moving? How do you move on the playground? Let's look at this picture here. Here's a little girl, she's going zigzag through the tires. Have you ever played tetherball like these kids here? The ball in this game goes round and round. That's another type of motion. Remember, you can go fast or slow also. Compare these pictures. How are they alike and different? Take a moment to pause and think about how are these pictures alike and how are they different? Press play when you're ready to continue. Force. A force makes something move or stop moving. You can use force to throw a ball. You can use force to catch a ball. The force of your hands makes the ball stop moving. Look at this picture here, boys and girls. The force of the racket makes the ball move. Imagine if that racket were to hit the ball. What would happen to that ball? Right, it would move forward. You may have to use certain forces in the game you design. Pushes and pulls are forces. When you push a swing, you move it away from you. When you pull a swing, you bring it close to you. You use pushes and pulls to make the swing go back and forth. We're gonna talk a little bit more about pushes and pulls next week. Pulling down, gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls objects to the ground. It makes objects fall unless a force is holding them up. Gravity is what pulls you down. It makes skiing fun. Look at this picture here. This caption says, gravity helps move the skier down the mountain. Gravity is what's pulling him down back towards the earth. We're gonna focus a lot more on gravity in the coming weeks as well. To sum it up, friends, force makes objects move or stop moving. Force makes things move faster or more slowly. Force can make things change directions. Pushes and pulls are forces. Gravity is also a force. It pulls things to the ground. 